I was surprised that I, that I adjusted to all this stuff like in basically one day. Will I miss them? Yeah. Uh, I will miss a couple of them, not all. I was kind of expecting a more cutthroat, everyone at their neck competition. As the days went on and we all got to know each other, it was nothing like what I expected. We all became like sort of a family. Uh, this is who I am. I'm not going to change when the camera's on or off. It's just, I'm just going to be who I am. This whole experience has been mind-boggling. I've been anxious, excited. I've never done anything like this, so it's been crazy up to this point. If it doesn't work out, I'm not going to stop. This is what I want. I'm going to keep going 200% from now on. After a long couple of weeks here, I created a family with these guys. I wanted to know that these were connections that I could make for a long time. And I was expecting to get into something that I you know, would have never expected. I always stay true to myself, I will never change, and what you see me is who I'll be forever. I think I'll really miss everyone. I really, I really developed some really great friendships here. The one thing I learned here the most is the, how to work as a team or as a duo, depending on the challenges. Learn to listen better. Like the first challenge, I didn't really pay attention to my partner, and so we ended losing it. Here I knew I would have the time to show what I can do, who I am, and we won all the challenges here. So yeah, that was pretty uh, sick. I never went internationally, I've never traveled. Um, so it's like sort of a rebirth for me to be here and to have this chance to stay positive when things are hard and to look at this as a jumping off point for my new self. All of you have traveled around the globe to come to Rillian to compete for one of four spots on G2 Esports Fortnite Squad. No matter the outcome, you've all been proven to be amazing members of the gaming community, so you should be very proud of yourself. Congratulations! Once again, your jury will consist of CEO and founder of G2 Esports, Carlos Oslot. And then we have Karina, Head of Communications from G2 Esports. G2 Esports pro player Lothar. And Vice President of Marketing from Paysafe Card, Oliver Wolf. So hi, how is the journey treating you? Is it uh, what you expected? Uh, okay, uh, the journey uh, wasn't as I expected, I, it was full of surprises, especially the cameras, the challenges, all new people. So it was really exciting and really fun. What is it that shocked you the most? Probably when I arrived to the apartment, like the cameras in my face, I didn't even like uh, went out of the taxi, you know, like they were already filming me. So I guess like that was the most uh, shocking part. Eternal, what about you? How winning this competition could change your and your family's life? It would change everything. They've been supporting me for like five, six years, and I can finally give everything back to them for supporting me for so long. How did they support you while you were here in Berlin? They miss me a lot, but they're texting me every day, how are you, everything, but they do miss me a lot. No wonder, skill and entertainment value. What do they mean to you? And how do you think they influenced our grade on you? Skill and entertainment go hand in hand for me. I like to show off my skill. I like to entertain people by showing people what is possible and what hard work can do. And I like to uh, let people know that I'm having fun doing it. I like big reactions, um, but I think skill is number one. Maxim, you've won every challenge. Is this everything to you, winning in these kind of challenges, showing more skill, or is there something else to it? We won all the challenges, but we also had a lot of fun, and that's also really important to me. I always give everything till the end, no matter if we are behind. That's how we won the Lama Challenge, we made a massive comeback. And yeah, just have fun, do your best, and uh, enjoy. Forsaken, how do you define Maxime as a teammate? And tell us how important synergy and communication with a teammate is. Uh, Maxim was honestly, I could say, the best teammate in the house. We have amazing synergy and chemistry. That is why we won every challenge. And I'm grateful for her because she kind of led the way 
And uh, I was always the eyes, but she was always my ears. And Joff, you have a lot of experience in various fields within esports and gaming. How did this experience change you or shape you as a player, as a person? What did you take from it? For me, I found that it was harder to complete the challenges and win it. So I, I think the takeaway is to focus less on my competitive side and start enjoying the game more. Start making other people enjoy the game with me. Ifit, when you were picked up by Team 2Gs, you acted really surprised. Why is that? Because Forsaken picked me up and me and him day one had beef. And oh. out of all people, I would expect him to pick me last out of the crew. So I was really, really surprised because they said Tohai, which is a very, very skilled player. And I am too, and I'm very, very easy going, but I just not, I didn't expect Forsaken to pick me. All right. Nico, my man, the bodybuilder. You're actually pretty strong in person, much more actually. Thank you. Let's imagine you get into a game and your team is not there, but it's not doing that well. How do you react? What do you do in order to get them, you know, to rally them and get them to play better? Uh, most of the times when I play squads with my team, I'm the guy which is taking the decisions. So I would just like keep motivating them and tell them what to do and how to flank the enemy and stuff like that. And most of the times it will go well and we will end with that. Because Are you the, the type of aggressive leader or more the type of the guy that's a little bit more chill. I'm both. Like sometimes I just leave my squad and go <laughs> by myself. <laughs> but uh, no, when, when it's for a serious tournament, I would stay with my squad, of course. Each of you have now one minute to tell the jury why you deserve to be on the squad. Hi guys, I'm just gonna keep it short. For the past six months, I was working so hard to get to this point and I will continue working hard because gaming, entertainment, and streaming is my passion. Uh, I want to be in the squad uh, because I want to show the world that girls can also play games. Me and my dear Ricky here, we won all the challenges, and I hope we can have a lot more ooh headshot moments in the coming streams. Not only do I love Fortnite and I grind the hell out of the game, but also I feel like the content I create is unique and flashy at the same time. I am sexy, I'm very fun, and I'm not afraid to be myself. And before I go, I wanted to give this to Carlos. Because <laughs> <laughs> That's nice, I appreciate it. If I've always been very close to doing what I want to do. And for the past five, six years, it's been very hard. And I've never been able to get over the hump. And I hope that with G2, I can finally get over the hump. You get the brain and the biceps. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for giving me the opportunity to make everybody in my life proud of me. It's been a really long time since I've sort of achieved something with my dream for them to understand why I'm so passionate. Hey everyone. So I just want to remind you of who I am, why I think I deserve this squad. I've built many communities and now I want to build with G2. I'm a leader with a personality that people want to follow offline as well as online. If I make the squad, then we can make an empire. The jury has now a very difficult decision to make. So jury, please make your way. announcement, Oliver from Paysafe Cars will reveal the winner of the fan vote. So the fans have voted and the Paysafe Card fan favorite is Tohai. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. We've heard a lot of good feedback and that you guys really enjoyed your Logitech G gear. So Logitech G decided to give you all as a present all the setups you've been playing with. Whoa. And now, one of the hardest moments, also one of the most beautiful moments, 
I'm going to be choosing the first winner. The first winner is going to be to high. Well deserved. You were incredibly entertaining. You are incredibly self-deprecative. You like to make fun of yourself, no problem. Uh, you're very easygoing, wholesome. Everybody likes you. Well done. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's a bit symbolic that you guys have a battle royale of your own, you know, right here. And uh, there can only be, you know, a few winners. The second person to join the squad will be No one. Well done, brother. First, take this. Brother. Well done, man. As for you. Thank you. You're very happy, man. Thank you. <laughs> and yeah, I'm, I think for me, I was so closely in touch, well, as close as we could be from the beginning of the project. I watched all of the videos. I remember all of you when you were still in top 20. It was amazing to watch the journey of how you develop. And to say the third winner, and it warms my heart. And I'm so proud. Girls Power Maxime. <laughs> And yeah, I've never done this before in my life. I'm so proud. Good job. Very well done. <laughs> and the last winner. Um, it's it's actually really tough for me because I've I've kind of developed this emotional bond. I want to thank you guys before I say the name again for everything that you've done and for challenging yourself. The last member of Making the Squad is going to be Forsaken. It's been such a great adventure and I hope that you enjoyed watching it. Congratulations to everyone and especially the winners who are going to see what they're going to do in their new journey. So this was it. This was Marcella for G2 Esports and I see you the next time.